All right, here it is, we're starting. Every summer I do a closet declutter. I do it once a year. I feel like it's just a good audit of what I'm actually wearing. And especially now coming off of the low by year, I just know that there's a lot of stuff that I am ready to let go of. I'm doing it in a little bit different format. Usually I do the entire declutter in one video. I just think it's gonna be too long and I don't wanna have to cut anything out because I like making long videos, but the thing is you have to watch the whole thing back after you're done editing it. And I don't feel like watching a two hour video of myself twice once I export it and once I upload it to YouTube to make sure nothing happens. So. We're gonna do this by category. So today we are starting with dresses and oh my God. Okay, I have so many. These are all my dresses. And I don't even think this is all of my dresses because I did pack away some of my winter stuff for the season. So I might do this video again in the winter because I'm not even gonna like touch on most of my sweaters or heavier articles of clothing. But yeah, today we are doing dresses. I'm gonna try everything on, no cuts. We're gonna talk about every piece and then yeah, we're gonna work our way through. If I'm getting rid of something that's still in good condition, I am gonna list everything on my Poshmark. So by the time you're seeing this, it'll be on my Poshmark. Uh, my Poshmark's always linked down below so you can go check it out. Let's just get to it. So the first thing I have is actually what I'm wearing and I thrifted this when I lived in Hawaii. It's by Free People, it's part of their beach collection. I don't wear this a ton, but I'm still gonna keep it because it's a really great vacation piece. So actually uh, for my husband and my one year anniversary, we did a staycation in Honolulu and I wore this to the pool and it was the best thing ever because it's, it's kind of heavy, which makes it good for pool days. Like I don't think I would wear this out on like a summer day. I love this because it was like a sleeping bag. I fell asleep on that little poolside lounger so quick. Keeping this because it's a great vacation piece, great pool day, beach day cover up. This next dress is also from Free People. I got this when I moved to Hawaii because I had like no appropriate clothes for living there. It is so cute. It's just like this really effortless, beachy dress. I love the pattern. I love the colors. Fun fact, I started doing background acting in Hawaii. So I actually wore this on TV. You can't see my face. It's literally just me from behind, but you can tell that it's me. This is really cool actually. If you ever find yourself living on Oahu, there's this casting agency out there where they're like always hiring extras. So I did it twice when I lived there. Super fun, uh, really interesting and kind of cool. Like that was always bucket list thing for me, like make it on TV. And even though you can't see my face, I'm so like clear in the shot, like it's me. You can tell, definitely tell it's me. Yeah, I wore this on TV, ooh. I'm keeping it, it's such a staple in my summer wardrobe. I really love the color. Yeah, I think I'll pretty much have this forever. It's such a go-to for me. This next dress is so dang cute and I feel like it's so me. I have never worn this. I got this at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. It's Rebecca Taylor. It's like this great blue and white pinstripe. Obviously it needs a good steaming. There is one weird element about this and it's this tie in the back. Can you see how uneven <laughs> these are. I think it's supposed to tie on the side, but when I tie it on the side, it looks, I don't like it like that. It looks really silly. I like it tied in the back. I think it looks better that way. The shoulder, do you see how the shoulders are like standing up? Kind of weird. Okay, this is going in the maybe. Actually, I don't think it really fits that great. I've never worn it, that's the thing, but I like think it's really cute for the summer. It's got like that little tennis core, right? Like this is like summer in the Hamptons. <laughs> this is gonna go in the maybe. I really should get rid of it. I don't know why I can never bring myself to get rid of it. I think I could get rid of it and find some. The thing is like, I love it. It's just these weird little things like the tie in the back and these shoulders. These shoulders are like really, really throwing me off right now. I think I have to get rid of it. I've never worn it. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna get rid of it. Hopefully I don't pull it back out, <laughs> but I think I can get rid of it. I'm never I'm never gonna wear this. Just the, yeah, this is, the fit is really bizarre. And it's like gapping. Look at that, like look from the side. I have to get rid of it, I have to be strong. Okay, this will be on my Poshmark. Maybe it'll fit you better. I think if you had a bigger chest, I don't think it's, I don't think it's meant for me. It's with a heavy heart that I have to say goodbye to her. Okay, you'll notice that this is kind of a trope of mine. When I like something, I buy it in multiple colors, which I, think can be good, but I think it's also a little bit of a problematic behavior that I'd like to correct. <laughs> I have this in red and then I'll try the white one on next. This is from Everlane. These are their tank dresses and this I love so much. I usually am not like a bodycon kind of person or like a tank dress. I don't know, but there's something about the cut of these that I feel so confident in. It's such a summer staple for me. And it's also so easy to throw, <laughs> you guessed it, a white button up over. I love the red collar. I feel like I can wear it with a bra or not. I'm not wearing a bra with any of these because I just cannot be bothered to like change the bra type to fit the dress. I also like the length of it. I like where it hits me. Sometimes I don't really, I don't like dresses that really show 
knee. Maybe that's why I haven't worn the Rebecca Taylor one too. It's just like a little too short for my taste. This is what I wear when it's so hot out. I cannot be bothered. This is my go-to for it is so yucky. I feel like I can sweat in these. It doesn't show. I also feel like I could go on a hike in this. I could go grocery shopping, but I could be cute, grab a coffee. I could like go for a walk in the park. I think it looks good with tennis shoes. I think it looks good with sandals. This is like, if I was going on vacation, this is what I would bring with me because it's so, it like never lets me down. Very simple yet like so chic. Okay, I've got I've got the white one on. I would I would probably wear a bra with this one out in public. I mean, like, I don't really care. I don't really care if I'm nipping, but also I'm wearing black underwear, so I'm not gonna turn around. Now this one, I would switch it up and I would um, wear a blue stripe button up with. <laughs> yeah, not much to say. Obviously, really, really like it. But if you're if you're looking for a tank dress, this is the one. I don't like Everlane's tank tops, which you'll see later when I go through this absolute disaster of a dresser. I've got two Everlane tanks that I, I know I need to get rid of. I could go on forever. I haven't worn this in a while. I just, white, you'll see. I have a lot of white dresses. I love them. This dress is gorgeous. Without a doubt, this dress is stunning. I got this last year at Crossroads and I think I only ended up wearing it once or twice. I think twice, I wore it once to work and then once when I was like out and about with my mom. It's not really breathable, so I get really slutty on it. So it you can really, really only wear it on like cooler days. Okay, yeah, it's cute, but like we're, we're gonna put this on the maybe. If I don't wear it, I need to get rid of it. I think I'm gonna try to style it off camera. I think this might be on my Poshmark. Just be on the lookout. It's, it's a maybe leaning get rid of. This dress is from Veronica Beard. Every time where I'm like, uh, I don't know if that's gonna fit anymore. I put it on and it still fits. I don't know what is in this dress that's so magical. I typically also wear a size six. This is a size four. This is also like a $700 dress. I got it at TJ Maxx or I think I paid 180 for it. So I did like splurge. I think it makes me look very like soft and romantic, but sexy. And sexy is not really an adjective that I I've personally identify with. <laughs> this is definitely a dress that I wear with little heels and it's definitely a fancy dress. I don't wear this daily. I'll wear it for like dates or like, you know, little special things. So and I think it's good to have like a special little dress on hand. So definitely keeping this. I thrifted a few years ago. It's by Mango, but it's like Mango's line for JCPenney or something. It's like the MNG, but it's this really great cotton dress. It's an off-white, more of like a cream, but like a subtle cream. It's white, but not stark white, like maybe this one. Do you see how this is like fluorescent white, which is what I usually go for. I love this dress. Again, this is one of those things in the summer that is easy. Also, I did decide I'm getting rid of that Abercrombie purple flower dress. I'm never gonna pick that over this because this is just so comfortable. What I like about it too is it has this interesting kind of like ribbing on the top and it gives you a waist, but it doesn't but it doesn't cling to my waist. There's a lot of room. It's so simple, but I, I just feel like it's so stylish. I don't know. I've, I've, I've been wearing it lately and I've just been kind of shocked at how much I like it. Okay, I, I need to go take a, a lunch break. It's getting really hot in here. <laughs> It's getting so hot and I need to go make lunch. Intermission time for me. Okay, I'm back from lunch. Oh, now I feel so sleepy. <laughs> this dress is what started it all. This is the culprit for the declutter. I literally just thrifted this. <laughs> feel like a clown. It's cute. Like, don't get me wrong. It's very cute. I actually think it's like really adorable, but I don't know where. Again, I don't like when my knees are out. It's just a little bit it's a little bit too short for my liking. And do you see how poofed out it is? My full butt will be on display going up the subway. Like I don't even, and usually when I'm wearing long flowy dresses, I'll gather it, pinch it in the front, pinch both sides and then lift it up. You know what I mean? So it's like tight in the back and then I'm, you know, there's no, there's no way. There's no way to wear this without, and it's like almost too short when I sit down, like, the fabric won't be covering my butt. This I have to get rid of. I cannot, I'm, I'm like pissed at myself that I even bought this. The practicality of it isn't there. I know I'm never gonna wear this. Maybe if it was longer, if it came like mid calf, I would just eat this up. Like I said, I really like this silhouette. Hopefully you do too. It is very like tennis core. I feel like it's again, just like a classic tennis dress silhouette. I have, I'm gonna get rid of it. Obviously this dress needs a really good steaming before I would wear it out. I had all of my summer dresses vacuumed in one of those vacuum seal bags under my bed. This is probably one of my favorite dresses that I own. I feel so good in this. I think why I like this so much is I think it's supposed to be a drop waist, but because I have a very long torso, it fits me right at my waist. This is from Koss. I bought it when I worked at And Other Stories, which is like H&M Group, so you get a discount on all of them. I think I got this dress for like $35, which is just a great 
deal. And then I went and I, I went back and I got the same dress in navy blue. I could not find it. I can't find it anywhere. I just wore it a couple weeks ago at my little like birthday party at the park. I don't know if I already put it in um, at the bottom of my closet. I have like a bin for stuff I want to get rid of. So I don't know if I put it in there. I, I, I like could not find it. Anyway, I have this dress in navy blue. I'm gonna get rid of the navy blue one. I'm keeping the white one. Every time I wear the navy blue one, I just don't feel good in it. I feel like I look stupid. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I just, every time I wear it, I'm like, this is not it. Ooh, I just love this one so much, obviously gonna keep. This dress is a great example of how you can shop exclusively fast fashion and still make it a sustainable option. I've had this dress since middle school. <laughs> I've had this dress for 13 years. It's from Old Navy. It's this really fun tube top dress. I love the pattern on it. It's like these light blue flowers all over. I kind of go back and forth on it because I feel like tube tops kind of come in and out of style. So I usually get a lot of wear out of it for a couple of years in a row. And then I kind of put it on the back burner and then I'm like, oh my God, like I missed that. It's so cute. So this is something I always keep, obviously keeping it now. I think that again, button up over the top, but also like a blazer. I have this black linen blazer that I think it would look really good with. Again, I feel like this is giving vacation vibes. I am not someone who buys a whole new wardrobe for vacation. I think that is a very like interesting thing that has kind of happened during the 2020s is like need to buy a full wardrobe when you're going on vacation. It's very bizarre to me. Like I understand wanting to have like one or two new things cause you want to like feel good or whatever, but I'm talking like literally like buying like 10 bikinis on Shein to go to Miami. It's always Miami. It's always Miami. <laughs> but like, this is something that I would pack on a little summer vacation. It rolls up so small. Carry on girl forever. You will never catch me checking a bag unless I'm moving. Unless I'm literally moving, that's the only time where I will check a bag. F that, no. Being sustainable is really a spectrum and you can buy fast fashion and have it be the sustainable choice for you. So yeah, insane. And also this next one too, I've had since middle school. I actually think these were both contenders. <laughs> They're both from Old Navy. These, both, both these dresses were contenders for my eighth grade graduation. Everybody got like a cute dress, right? And I couldn't choose. My mom was like, just keep both, it's fine. And literally have had these for 13 years. That's insane. Like that's so crazy from Old Navy too. Like if you take care of your clothing, it will last. Like I said, I've had it for 13 years. It's from Old Navy. It's this really pretty chiffon and it's like a maxi maxi dress. Like it almost touches the floor. And I actually don't wear this one a ton just because of its length. I would definitely have to wear heels, but I still think I'm gonna keep it because I've had it for so long. I'm like, I don't think I can get rid of it. I, yeah, I don't wear it a ton, but it is very pretty. It's very cute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one. I might just pack it away. Like this might not go into my closet, but it's just, you know, you have those few pieces that you just can't get rid of for whatever reason. And this is mine. I just think it's really cool to have like these articles of clothing that have literally come with me through like girlhood, teenagehood, <laughs> young adulthood. It's just, it's kind of sweet. And I get like sentimental thinking about it. And it is like a really gorgeous dress. Like I'm actually kind of like, really feeling myself. So maybe with um, these heels, like these strappy heels, I don't know, maybe if I do something a little fancier this summer, like a rooftop bar, this would be like a really cute thing to wear. So I'm gonna keep it. This dress I got a couple years ago at TJ Maxx. It's one of my favorite dresses that I own. This might be like number one for me. I think it's a very classic dress, but it's got a lot of interesting elements. I like the square neck. I like the tie here because you can loosen it or tighten it up. And it's got these cutouts on the side, which I think are really interesting. And again, you can tie them to make them looser or bigger. And because there's two holes on each side, it creates this like really, again, this like interesting ruching here. There's some layers to it. It's got a great length. The color is like so, so good. It's so me. Yeah, I feel like I'm like radiating in this dress. Sometimes I think about clothing and I'm like, what would be my like iconic, like cartoon character look? This would be it. Like this dress is something that I feel so good in. I feel like it's kind of integral to me as a person. I feel like when people see this dress, they think of me. Ugh, I just, I love this dress. It's so, so cute. And I love it so much that obviously I have it in black. This I wore all summer last summer. It's funny because you can really 
dress it up, but you could also really dress it down. Like I wore this with a button up in like Teva's and it was so cute, so comfortable, so like chill for the day. I think in this black color, it's kind of giving like Simone Rocha, Sandy Lang vibes because of like the little bow here, you can tie it. And then also there's where you tie the little holes. It's also a bow. So you've got like two bows coming off the side. The weight's like ruched and draped. Yeah, there's a lot of elements in this dress that I just feel like it looks way more expensive than what it was. It's just the attention to detail is perfect. So yeah keeping this one as well. Okay, I actually did find the cost dress that I was talking about, the same as the white one with the drop waist. It's like a weird color. It sucks, I wanna love it so bad, but I, I'm gonna get rid of this one. It just, I don't know. I don't know why the dark color makes me just not like it. I'm trying to think like if I dyed it black, if I would like it more, so it was like a pure color. Hmm. I don't think so. I think I, think I got to say goodbye to it. Uh, it sucks because like I'm looking at myself and I like it. I like it so much, but every time I wear it, I feel so, I just don't feel good. It's just weird. And sometimes that happens. Like I'll have these just really gorgeous pieces. And when I wear them, I just for whatever reason don't feel good in them. And so I'm just gonna get it out. Don't make any excuses for it. She's gotta go. Oh my God, this poor dress. I am not doing her justice one bit. Again, this was <laughs> backed away under the bed for about a year. So uh, she, she needs a good steaming. This is linen and it also has a cotton lining on the inside. It is by the designer Parker, but I don't even think they exist anymore. It's this fantastic linen dress. I actually wore this on the day I got married. <laughs> My husband and I eloped and then we immediately just took a plane to Maui. We uh, eloped on Oahu and then in the afternoon we were in Maui and I wore this that night. I, uh, another thing that grinds my gears is bride culture or like bridesmaid culture in like making goodie bags. Bags? Girl, what just happened to me? <gasps> oh my God, the Midwest came out so heavy. Bigs? Oh my God. <laughs> when brides make their bridesmaids these goodie bags, or like when a bride has like a week of white, all white outfits for their, their bridal shower bachelorette trip. And a lot of the times these things aren't reworn. And so this, I wear this all summer long. It's great. This is like one of the best things I bought. And I didn't even buy it for the wedding actually. I just liked it. And then I was like, oh, perfect. I can wear that. I don't have to like go buy something new just for the wedding aspect of it all, you know, just for the bridification of it all. And yeah, um, I'll put a picture of it because it really, yeah, it, she, she deserves more. So cute, love it, obviously. Keeping. Okay, I gotta talk about this one fast because it is hot in here and I am sweating in this. I should have packed this away with my winter fall stuff. For some reason I didn't. I got this at Crossroads last year and I feel like last year at the Crossroads in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, they priced Ghani stuff so much cheaper and now they're hiking it up. I got this for 40 dollars. It's like a $350 dress. When I wear this, I feel so cool. I feel like I have the best style in the world. It is this plissé material with these really flouncy sleeves. And it's just kind of this shapeless dress. And the bottom also has these like little tiny ruffles, but you can see it's just straight. I mean, there's no shape to it which I find to be extremely comfortable. And I've actually never even added a belt. I do want to find like a vintage black belt to put with it just to give me shape if I want to. I love this thing. I usually just wear it with some nylons and some black boots and a little leather bag. It's like a very simple outfit. And yeah, I feel like, I feel like an Olsen twin <laughs> when I wear this, right? I'm actually like appalled by the row. I'm appalled. I've been seeing, I saw this, I saw this TikTok of a girl on the Upper East Side and she was like going through her outfit and then she was like, and the shoes, the clogs are by the row. And I was like, I know I saw those for like $900. It's just a leather mule. It's just a leather clog. $900, the row is crazy. I, okay, obviously keeping this, absolutely love it. We've got a, another free people dress. Very simple, very cute, love the color, I love the print. I do need to kind of alter the straps because they've stretched out. I would like them to be a little higher. So what I really need to do is just get like a super cheap sewing machine because I don't want to like, I don't have the space to start kind of dabbling with making my own clothes, but I do want to kind of fix some of my own stuff and I would really need like, a $50 sewing machine, like nothing fancy, because that is something I could do myself. Just fix these straps, they can stay up a bit. I actually don't wear this one a ton in the city because it is a little longer. And so it can, if I'm not wearing high enough shoes, it'll tend to drag on like the subway floor and it's just so pretty, I don't wanna ruin it. But I do like lounge around the house in this a lot, keeping this one. This is one of my favorite dresses I own. I bought this in 2020. 
during the pandemic and it's an extra small you can see it's like okay it's a it's a classic wrap dress did i say it's from the gap gorgeous gingham navy blue i love this this is just again my style to a t it's got pockets very classic the problem is that it's an extra small and so uh it's like my hips are making the fabric go out further and so i can't i like i cannot wear this anymore in the city because if i'm walking too fast it's like literally an inch away from exposing my front my front section and uh yeah i think the context of that i bought it in 2020 is very important because the only thing keeping me sane i was living at my parents house during this and i had quit my job because i was an essential worker at target and so i was still required to work but covid was so new and so scary that I, like i was i didn't want to like kill my parents you know what i mean i was like i can't i can't go work at target and bring covid home and kill my parents and myself absolutely not so i quit my job i stayed home and i would work out like twice a day working out was the only thing that got me through the pandemic i would run in the morning i would like run two miles in the morning and then I got super into cooking. This was not when I had like orthorexia, by the way. This was like a very like, I was just like super into fitness, but I, I wasn't like scared of eating like chocolate or whatever. I was cooking all these like interesting recipes and then I would go weight train or do a HIIT workout for an hour in our in our basement. My parents have like a in-home like gym. So I was like shredded. I've never in my life been that like I legit almost had a six pack. Also at this point in my life, I was kind of on track to join the military. But then they like, anyway, it's a whole story, but I obviously didn't join the military, but because I had to join the military, which is so weird, side tangent, because I was planning on joining the Air Force, it, joining the Air Force was like the one thing that really switched my life into becoming interested in fitness because you have to pass a PT test, you have to run a mile and a half, do X amount of push-ups and X amount of sit-ups. And my core strength has always been really good, but I had like zero cardio abilities and my upper body strength was basically non-existent. And so I could maybe do like five modified push-ups. And at the peak of it in 2020, I could do 25 full push-ups. I could run two miles. I logged it. I run a mile in eight minutes and one second. Who is that girl? I run about a 1030 now. <laughs> anyway, just given the context, I was literally training to be in the militia. So um, I was a strong girl, I was so strong. And so the extra small fit me at that point, but obviously it's unrealistic to work out two hours every single day. So I'm no longer an extra small. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and I, I'm gonna list this on Poshmark and I'm going to just find one that's listed as a medium. I actually found a lot of these on Poshmark. So I am going to buy a medium in this dress and I'll list this one because I love this dress so much. I think it's just... It's just my favorite. Yeah, a lot of lore behind this dress that I guess I needed to let you know about. I'll still have this dress just a couple sizes up. I really did pick the absolute worst day to wear black underwear. I don't know why I haven't just, I don't know why I didn't just change when I had that realization, but I guess I'm just committed at this point. I thrifted this. I didn't make a April thrift video cause I don't really know why. I just kind of ran out of time. And then I, so I just plan on doing like a collective spring thrift video, but I did thrift this from Crossroads. It's originally Everlane. Of course I like this. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna show you the back cause I really do think you'll be able to see my underwear like so clearly, but there is a little tie in the back, which I really like because you can kind of loosen or tighten it. It's got like little uh, ruching here. I like the option to make it tighter for a waist or make it looser. I really love doing a white dress with all black leather accessories. It's like very chic to me. It feels very New York City. It feels very like cool girl. It feels very model. It feels very like something a like, stylist would wear. Yeah, I mean, I love a button up so much that I got a button up dress. The buttons go all the way down. The length is perfect, super comfortable. And yeah, just overall great for spring and summer. Oh my gosh, we're down to our last dress, you guys. One more. Okay, this is the last dress. I am keeping this. I got this last year when I worked at and other stories. It is so gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It's just great. Again, it's one of those kind of like shapeless dresses that just feels so comfortable. It's very simple, very basic. I love the volume on this. I love the tiers. I love the neckline. I also like these straps. You can put them into bows. And I also like that they you tie them to yourself. So they're completely adjustable. My camera died, so I don't, I don't think I talked about this that much. I just love her. She's so darling. Extremely easy to wear bike shorts underneath. So I have horrific, horrific periods to the point where I usually spend about three days in bed. <laughs> so fun. I love being a woman. And, but I still, I have commitments, have a job, have to go do things. Pants can just be very uncomfortable, but bike shorts aren't. But sometimes I don't want to just be in bike shorts. And so I wore this 
the other day when I was having an awful horrific period day, I wore bike shorts underneath, no bra, and just this tent. <laughs> on top and I was the comfiest I've ever been. I feel like I would have typically shied away from wearing a dress when I'm on my period, but this is all I'm wearing when I'm on my period now. Like it doesn't touch your body really. It's not tight anywhere. You can wear bike shorts for some extra comfort, extra security. It was a fantastic experience. Okay, so these are all the dresses that I'm getting rid of. We've got the Rebecca Taylor, the Abercrombie, the clown dress, Hoss dress, and the Gap dress. So I'm getting rid of five dresses. I have, <laughs> I have a lot of dresses. I don't even want to count how many I have. Safe to say I don't need any more dresses. I can put a ban on myself. No more dresses. Dresses are kind of my go-to for summer because I don't enjoy wearing shorts. I have a few pairs of shorts that I like, but overall I'm usually in a dress. I just, it keeps me a lot more cool. It covers more of my body. It's just a lot more function, function, func functional. Why was I gonna say functionable? It works for me. It works for me and my family. <laughs> you know, when like trad wives say that, like you do what you want and I'll do what works best for my family. Thank you. This was part one in trying on everything that I own. This is probably gonna be like a summer long series. So uh, like and subscribe if you wanna stick around to see all of it. I will have all of these dresses listed on Poshmark if you're interested. This was kind of a minimal decluttering. I mean, we got rid of five dresses, but I think that's great because everything else I, I really love and I, I do wear. When you try everything on, instead of just decluttering, when you try everything on, I think you really understand the gravity of how much you have. Have, especially on a hot day. Try on all your clothes on a hot day when you have no AC and you gotta keep the windows closed because this street is so damn loud. I'm just like, wow, that, that's a lot of clothing. And yeah, I really, I do not need any more dresses. Enough. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.